Good morning. Um, we are doing DMRF number three. Um, I have inserted a text box and typed in the prime numbers so that I can easily refer when I go to factor these new numbers um, to see what the prime numbers are. Um, I may move it around as I'm zooming in, but so that I can refer back to it. It's something I suggest. Required? No. Helpful? Yes. So I'm going to make it bigger so that I can read it. And then I'm going to reflect upon what our skill sets are. We're working on prime factorization. And so I'm going to look at 32 and I'm going to look for a number in the prime numbers list that I can multiply and factor into. So 2 times 16 gives me 32. If you don't see, if you don't see that um, and you see maybe 4 times eight, and that's how you could know that you could factor it. You can choose that number, but I'm gonna choose two. So I'm gonna type two times 16 gives me 32. I'm going to underline what is my prime number. That one cannot be factored, but 16 is not prime, so I have to keep going. So two times, and factoring the 16 means that 16 gets split into two times eight. And now I have two prime numbers. There's one. I'll just underline the whole thing. It might be faster. There you go. Those are done. But eight is not a prime number, so I have to keep going. So two times two, bring that down. That eight can be factored into two whoops, times two times four going to underline all of my prime numbers, da, 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 da. lots of them, two times two times two, but four is not prime, so I have to keep going to bring this down. Dang it, if you could type. But that four can now be factored into two times two. And at this point, I have all prime numbers. So I'm finished except for putting it in an exponential form. So to put it in exponential form, first I count how many twos I have. One, two, three, four, five. So I have two with five of them. So in order to make this five be the exponent that reflects, I have one, two, three, four, five twos being multiplied. I have to go format, text, superscript. And that is your answer. Reflection. I know that a prime number is only multiplied, is only factored into one and itself. So there is a reflection for that one. All right, what shape of the fraction is shaded? Well, it doesn't show one, so um, we still need to think about the part versus whole. So part is the denominator, which is the top. The whole is the numerator, bottom. So, no E. So, thank you. This one has zero out of two.